Using a slow and fast motion for generating a fill can be fun, but it's not good when you're overdoing it. So when will overdoing it hit? Let's find out. But before we begin, I wanted to point out that we have a blog now. You can check the written version of our videos, including this one, and also the ones that never get a video right here. So be sure to stop by and give it a look. Links are as always down in the description. Okay, first we'll talk about the slow motion, okay? Okay. As I said before, creating focus on something is the main use case for slow motion. Filmmakers slow down a footage in order to make you focus on something the director is focusing on. A slow motion has been used in action movies to put emphasis on fighting scenes, accidents, explosions, especially when the actor is moving away from the scene because cool people never look at explosions and that is a fact. Okay, what else? Hmm. Superheroes. Yeah, superheroes. Yeah, great example. Superheroes get a lot of a slow motion too. Mm, perfect example can be the movie Matrix where they have that special scene called the bullet time. Suspense can also be created with a slow motion but you gotta be careful with that one because there has been millions of times that I was watching a movie and the creator was trying to create a suspenseful scene but the slow motion was too long and I just fast forwarded through it. Music also plays a big role in setting the mood for a slow motion scene. Imagine a guy that is walking on the street and an energetic rock music is playing in the background. That guy is the king, but change that music for something suspenseful. Now that guy is a serial killer. The slow motion can go all the way down to thousands of frames like the stuff the slow-mo guys do in their videos. Those shots are really amazing. They use specially made cameras for those shots like phantom cameras. How much is the phantom camera? I've heard it's freaking expensive. Let me check it. The base model with just 72 gig of storage runs for $135,000. Nice. Wow. And that's the base. The best model is 175. <laughs> God. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Fast forward. Fast forward speeds up the video to show the passage of time or maybe going through some unnecessary stuff maybe the process of building or repairing something. Time lapses are also a sort of fast forward thing that are used to show the process of doing something. For example, changing a tire, like our cameraman who always needs to watch a video in order to do something. Shut up. An artistic usage of speeding up the video can be when the filmmaker decides to isolate the character from the rest of the world. A good example of that is the breathing music video by Ariana Grande. You're an Ariana Grande fan, right? Yes! The reverse of that will be when the character is stressed and their speed is much higher than their surroundings. The last but not least is when you speed up the video for some comedic effect. The master of this was Charlie Chaplin with his amazing comedic work. Now that we have talked about the whys, let's talk about the hows. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is that slow motion really loves frames, so the more the merrier. But you do not need to increase the frame rate if you are trying to do a fast forward scene. So let's get into Premiere and see how it's done. So when you add the video to the timeline in Premiere Pro, the first tool you can use to change the speed of it is a speed and duration. Uh, to do that, right click on the video and choose a speed and duration or you can use the shortcut command R or Control R if you are on Windows. After the panel is opened, you can see the video is on 100% which is the normal speed of the video. By changing that to an amount less than 100, you can create in a slow motion and by increasing it, your video will be played in fast forward. You can also reverse the video by checking the reverse speed. To use the rate stretch tool, press R on your keyboard. Now your cursor has turned into the rate stretch cursor, which enables you to change the speed of the video by clicking and dragging on the footage. Another option that can be used to alter the speed is time remapping tool. This one's a bit more complicated, but it's really worth it. Right click on the video, then go to show clip keyframes time remapping and speed. Now, if you search the video to see details on your timeline, you can see that the line is created on your video and by dragging it up or down, you can change the speed of the video. Okay, that's pretty much it. Be careful with those speedy shots and slow motion videos. Best of luck and bye. 
as I said before, what did I say before? 